Hello Commanders and welcome in Media Desk Gaming in a new Conflict of Nations series. We are going to start 2022 with new series which is going to be a solo with Morocco. A lot of our followers they are asking me to play without Air Force. Come on Media Desk, you are always playing with strikers, helicopters etc. Try playing a series without making one single aircraft. In this series I am going to proceed with this challenge but guys I need your support here. I hope we do it with this tiny uh, nation Morocco in the west coast of Africa we have an AI nation by our south we have the giant Algeria by our east and in our north we have Spain so here strategically the position of uh, Morocco is very good but we have to be careful of Spain and also Algeria in this case we are going to follow a very very good and safe strategy no air force we are not going to make no single aircraft but in this case i am going to follow a very uh, basic um, strategy national guards recon vehicles tout artillery mobile anti-air mobile sam launches and this is going to be our composition in this series but i hope i survive the first days because 100 percent play, playing as morocco algeria will think about attacking us also spain if he doesn't have a problem with france if he is in the same coalition as france he will start thinking about conquering morocco so the first thing here i started the research of the national guards and i am going to build uh, the recruiting offices in my cities to be able to mobilize these national guards of course uh, why i am going to mobilize national guards because they will be produced very fast while uh, algeria is going to make one motorized infantry i will be able to make two national guards in that time so i will have uh, the time in by my side which is going to be a huge favor here and at the same time i need to defend my cities so in this case i'm going to wait for algeria to attack me and keep my uh, infantry in my cities to benefit of the bonus of defense in that case uh, i will have the upper hand so just follow this video like it follow our uh, youtube channel and just stay tuned for what is going to happen in this fabulous series but you have to be sure guys playing as morocco and solo in this game is going to be tough especially in 4x uh, speed uh, game so um, we are going to follow a very secure uh, strategy very tight one to be able to survive especially the first days i i am 100% sure that we are going to have intense first 10 days so in this case I'm going to wait I'm not going to attack Algeria very quickly I will wait for him to come to me and benefit of the defense bonus of me so here I'm not going to make no helicopters no strikers no air security fighters and this is what we anticipated actually in day the second day Algeria has declared war on me overnight when I was sleeping but fortunately I expected where he is going to come from he is going to attack my city of Marrakesh the city of um, Agadir and also the city of Fez so in these three cities on the borders on the Algerian borders I stacked my infantry there uh, to benefit of the bonus of the defense and you can see here from the notifications that we destroyed all of his units that was attacking us this is a good thing this is a beautiful start you see here this uh, division in first that was very tough one in day two because it have them one recon and it have the tout artillery so in this case being in a defensive position is very good especially when you know where your enemy is going to come from when you can read the map and anticipate and expect where your enemy is going to come from you can stop him so here i've been following the notifications and i wanted really to locate what is the last province i lost i want to locate the units of algeria where he is roaming in this uh, second so by reading the notifications i can have that information so guys don't underestimate those notifications in the game they are very useful they give you a lot of information so i'm going to give him a backstab attack with two national guards going straight to the capital Alger. i hope it is unprotected i'm going to the city of oran with my tout artillery because he is building a naval base level two and they want to destroy that 
At the same time, of course, he have been attacking me and he lost a lot of infantry. So 100% his city of Tindouf is not going to be uh, defended with units because he sent those units there, the two infantry he had in the first day of the game. So uh, practically, I expect that I'm not going to find defenses there. So now, now it's time to make at least one corvette to uh, secure my coast. The coast of Tangier there, uh, the Gibraltar Strait. So I'm going to build the naval base level 2 and the research of the corvette. That corvette is going to play a very important role here to secure the coast of my uh, capital. Uh, Rabat, because you know my capital is coastal, so one single inventory there, it's going to be capable to take down my capital. And the last thing I want to happen here is to lose my capital, of course, because I'm going to lose my morale and it's going to cripple my economy production and it's going to pose a lot of problems for me. So I'd like to avoid that by making a corvette and position it in front of my capital. These are the casualties between Morocco and Algeria. I have 1,000, he have 2,000. I'm going to patrol this area. So as I said from the notifications, I located that his last uh, infantry has conquered that province. So 100% he is still there. So I will try to uh, intercept his uh, way with my um, stack of infantry and uh, national guards. Also, I'm going to use that uh, air security fighter to patrol. So that is going to be the only air superiority fighter I'm going to possess in this game because, as I said, it's a no air force challenge. I am going to play for the first time in my life without a single aircraft. So it's going to be only navy and land army. It's going to be, it's going to be interesting, to be honest. Am I going to be able to create the Moroccan Empire? We will see about that. We will see about that and I hope it goes successful. So here the Algerian inventories they are located as I said following those notifications they can give you answers. So in this case I'm going to get back my stack of inventories to the city of Marrakech to benefit of the bonus of defense. As soon as he gets there he will be annihilated. So this is my enemy Algeria, it is, it is quite a big nation here and he have an airfield down down the south, I don't know why he made that airfield, maybe he will be preparing himself to uh, invade Chad or something, I don't know, but yeah. Okay, let's see what will happen now guys. Oh, more infantry that are coming to the city of Marrakesh. Okay, I think uh, these infantry I have, when they are positioned in the center of the city, they are going to be enough to stop their uh, infantry. Uh, he is sending level 1 random infantry. This is an efficient attack because I always tell my followers and fans never attack cities with scattered infantry and single infantry roaming all over the place. You need to really gather one heavy stack of 10 infantry at least. It is going to be preferable if you put one recon with them and just send them straight to the homeland cities of your enemy and they are going to do the job very well. They will be only stopped when they encounter 10 infantry in the city because of the bonus of the defense as I said. Okay, now this is what I am trying to do. This is what I am speaking about. One recon, six infantry, one national guard. I am going to send this heavy armored division straight to his homeland cities because I don't want him to make more motorized infantry. In this case, I want to stop his uh, mobilization. So this is why. At the same time, I am being defensive and defending my units. I am charging forward to his homeland cities. So you, see, you can see here that Algeria is online. He saw that I have defenses in the city of Marrakesh, but he is taking back his infantry because he knows that his infantry, if it goes to the city, is going to be dead. Okay, I'm going to chase him. Hopefully, I will catch up to him and kill that infantry which is going back. So guys, we are at the end of the first episode of the Moroccan Empire. I hope you liked it. Just like the video and subscribe to our YouTube channel and wait for the second episode. See you guys and bye bye.